How to make simple yet realistic clouds in GNU Image Manipulation Program 2. Okay, so first off, we'll start off with this background. It's just a simple 640 by 400. Uh, we're just going to do a gradient, make it more sky like, and just make it look nice generally. Okay, next we want to add a brand new layer, and you name it Cloud. Take the circle tool, draw one. Press in shift, hold it down again to draw it again. This will just add to it, add to the selection. It doesn't really matter, just make it look vaguely cloud like. Now get fill tool, uh, you can press shift, bu shift B to open the bucket or just click it. Fill it in, now choose a darker one and go over the airbrush tool and still maintaining the selection, just go around. Uh, and it doesn't really matter how well you do it because it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be whole. As you can see, we aren't really putting much care into how this looks because this isn't what the cloud's going to look like, of course. So we'll just fill all that in. Uh, and you might want to do uh, dots every now and again. Uh, I'm doing this on a laptop without a touchpad, uh, so it's a bit dodgy. Uh, future videos won't be like that. Okay, now you want to get rid of that selection, go to Smudge Tool, Medium Site, and just Go around, we don't want to have any hard edges and just go around basically circling it if, and just generally making it less cartoon like you want a bigger one now just to smooth it out small one because you're free to experiment with this. I came up with this completely by accident whilst making uh, some cartoon style clouds. And but you know it's a very simple cloud if you look from afar or just tilt your perspective you can see the different levels of light this is I'm really proud of this and I haven't yet seen a tutorial which shows this so I'm really happy that I found this uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to show what you can do with it so I think if we just uncheck that's what it looks like without the background you see that's how you've got the effect of the white of grey it's just it's got it's half transparentized some of it. So I think what we shall do now, just to show you what exactly you can do, uh, we'll just uh, make it a bit smaller using the scale tool, and we'll just add several to the sky. Uh, control, you want to control C that, and control V. And it doesn't matter about right clicking on the floating selection pasted layer. If you right click on that click to new layer, it will paste it to a brand new layer. We don't really care about that mix. We may do it in later tutorials, but not in this one. Okay, so that's what it looks like zoomed in. I don't quite know how I managed to do that. Uh, you, don't, you don't actually have to change which one you're in by clicking it. When you're in the zoom tool, if you press control, it switches what it's default on. So we'll just uh, change the perspective of that a little bit because clouds are never the same. If you look out the window, of it, no two clouds are the same. Of course, that, those two are sim very similar in, this, in that sense. So, in this one, I think what we'll do is we shall change it ever so slightly. Uh, as you can see, these are merging onto the same layer. As I said earlier, if you go on uh, to new layer, it will make it just more. It will, it will make it easy if you have a lot of stuff to differentiate what you're working on. Sometimes you might also want different light levels, different opacity levels, and it's just a lot easier to do that with a new layer. Right, so here we're just changing it around a little bit. This is a smaller one. It's going to be lower down, so it's got more wind beating at it, so it's going to be more rough. We can have the other ones are more smooth. Now, of course, this isn't the best layout. You can have much better layouts for Sky. You wouldn't normally find them like this, but this is just showing you what you can do. Uh, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this. Uh, I, uh, what I'm going to do with these tutorials is I'm not going to go out, watch a tutorial, and reword it for myself. I'm going to find stuff in GNU Manipulation Program, uh, and I'm going to just mess around with it and if I find something I like I'll record it. Um, now this you can download for free, it's like Photoshop just free, uh, it's a lot better for drawing I think, I think Photoshop's better for editing what's already there. Uh, I used to have it on this but I don't have it anymore. Right, uh, 
so I think uh, that's that. Uh, if you like to like, uh, favourite, subscribe. Hopefully I'll be able to bring out more of these. I think I have one more in the bag. Um, that'll be coming out not long after this. And I just hope that you've enjoyed watching. Uh, peace out. Bye.